नमस्कार टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन द करेक्ट वे ऑफ ब्रीदिंग ड्यूरिंग आसन प्रैक्टिस सब ऑफ यू मे बी कंफ्यूज अबाउट वेन टू इनहेल वेन टू एक्सेल वेन टू रिटेन योर ब्रेथ एंड वेन टू सस्पेंड योर ब्रेथ लेट मी मेक दिस सिंपल फॉर यू इमेजिन योर लंग्स आर लाइक बलून वॉट हैपन्स वेन यू फील एयर इन देम दे एक्सपैंड राइट रिमेंबर whenever you are doing upward rising or backward bending asanas you must always inhale to allow your lungs to expand to their full capacity and now what happens to balloons when you press them the air escapes out of them right similarly when you do downward or forward bending or twisting asanas you must always exhale to enable your lungs to compress when you do sideward bend one side of your body is compressed whereas the other side of body expands and stretches in this case you inhale while bending sideward and exhale while coming back to the center there are some asanas like garud asan and gomukh asan in which the final step needs to be held for a longer time here you have two breathing options according to your lung capacity first option is breathe normally while holding the pose second option follow the asan instructions and either retain or suspend your breath for the number of counts prescribed retention of breath is kumbhak in which you inhale and hold the breath for certain number of counts suspension of breath is called shunyak in which you exhale and do not inhale for a prescribed number of counts at the yoga institute we follow the yogendra breathing rhythm which was developed by shri yogendra ji in 1918 this is a simple breathing rhythm followed during the practice of asanas for example a breathing rhythm 3 is to 6 is to 3 means 3 counts or seconds as inhalation Six counts or second of retention or suspension of the breath. Three counts or seconds of exhalation. Remember that this is a ratio in your practice depending on your capacity. You may use the ratio of two four two or three six three or four eight and four. During asana, it is recommended that you follow the ratio of inhalation retention or suspension and exhalation of breath let me give you an example in asanas such as talasan you inhale for two counts when you raise up your hand then you retain your breath for four counts and when you bring your hand down you exhale for two counts however if for some reason you are not able to retain your breath for four counts you may breathe normally i have noticed that such training in the daily yoga asanas with the yogendra rhythm gradually makes one develop a habit of taking one or two breath per minute when you practice asanas with such a rhythm you achieve excellent mind body coordination because breath is a channel that connects your body and mind every asan then becomes a tapa a way of training your senses in the yoga sutras of maharshi patanjali verse 2.47 states prayatna shaitilya ananta samapatti bhya this means by relaxation of effort and by total absorption of oneself into a steady object a posture is mastered i would like to assure you that when you are learning or practicing asanas do not get frustrated if you cannot do certain asanas perfectly allow your body to open up gradually by relaxing your effort focus on the rhythmic breathing pattern and achieve a calmness that will expand your mind following the correct way of inhaling and exhaling to coordinate with the expansion and compression of your lungs will improve definitely your asan practice this will keep your mind focused and help you in your progress on the path of yoga namaskar